What is up everybody? It's Alex from Swamp Rat Fishing. Today, we're gonna go over all of Six Sense's soft plastics. This idea came up from uh, Hooked Up North. He sent me a message and he's like, hey man, if you had to get something from Six Sense, what would you get? Um, and I'm a huge soft plastics guy, so I, I figured what better way, I'm gonna break down all of the soft plastics they have, except for one, uh, the hog walla, I don't have that. I don't plan on getting it. I don't really fish those style of baits. But other than that, I've got every other soft plastic they have. And uh, enough chick chat, let's get into it. All right, so first up, the flush. This is the Six Sense Fishing Flush 5.2 inch soft jerk bait. Um, we're gonna show some close ups. We're gonna show close ups of all the baits. Um, I like the size of the bait, I like the ridges. It's got some uh, fins on the side that are supposed to help with stability, and I have noticed that it has helped with stability. You don't have that thing rolling over. Um, it's also got a hook keeper up top. Not really a hook keeper. It's called a flush because you can rig this thing with a 5 aught EWG, and that uh, little pectoral fin on top is like the perfect little uh, brush guard. You keep that thing real flush. Um, and then the other thing to it, it has a, uh, it has a ball on the tail. And uh, I feel like that gives it some really nice action, uh, but not crazy erratic. It's still erratic, but not like uncontrollably erratic. Um, really great bait. It was awesome. It came out this year. Get yourself some of those. All right, next up, we're going to go over worms. And we're going to start right out with the heavy hitter. This is my favorite stick bait. This is Six Cents Clout Worm. It's 5.4 inches. Amazing colors. All of these soft plastics come out in amazing colors. The Sixth Sense is known for one thing. It's whether it's their hard baits or their soft baits, the colors that they have are amazing. How many times can I say amazing? No, for real, these are awesome, awesome stick baits. I think a lot of stick baits are very much the same uh, as you go from company to company. They have these 3D ridges on it that when you pair it up with the Flick Shake, one eighth ounce, little wacky weighted, it is so money. It has caught me so many fish. It's caught me multiple PBs. It is, I really have a hard time fishing any other stick bait than the clout worm. Rolling on through, we've got the divine shaky worm. This is a uh, seven inch worm. It also comes in, let me look at my notes because I'm old. It also comes in a 6.3 inch. Awesome, awesome colors. And for some colors, I think it was about four, uh, it comes in a nine inch worm. It's an awesome shaky head. Uh, I don't fish a lot of shaky head. What I like to do with these though, throw it on a light weighted Texas rig and uh, fish it deep uh, or in like kind of grass, stuff like that. It comes out just fine. It's an awesome worm. The durability is good on it. The action is great. It's got that bulbous tail that a lot of uh, shaky worms have. And uh, it might not seem like a big deal, but it comes just like the flush comes in a, uh, an all plastic clamshell. So do these. These, uh, these shaky worms, you don't have a lot of issues with either of those baits getting all kind of wonky and then you gotta like boil them a little bit. Don't have to worry about that. It comes in its own uh, little plastic clamshell on the inside. It's a great, great shaky head worm or Texas rig worm. Highly recommend it. On the topic of big worms for fishing deep, the ridge worm, the big mamma jamma. It's a big worm. It's got a giant tail on it. Um, it's got a meteor section. I was really surprised with the big one here. Uh, it does come in two sizes. I used to see a uh, smaller size on their website. I don't see it anymore, so I don't know if they're not carrying it. Uh, but the standard one is a 10 inch worm. It's extremely light, um, which I, I thought it would be like a little bulky. It's not, it has a bulk area where you can rig your hook and then that tail is super thin. So you're getting tons of great action. Again, great colors as always. Uh, but for me, you can never go wrong in any of these baits in the June bug red. I think it's one of the best June bug colors out there. But uh, yeah, the ridge worm when you want to get deep and fluttery. All right. And then to close out worms, this one's controversial. Um, I, I really like Sixth Sense. I like almost everything they put out. I think they're a great company. They're doing it the right way. Thoroughly enjoy them. But this one, the Ned Fry, this one was a stinker in my book for a very long time. Um, I bought it initially when it first came out. Everything else had been good. And then I tried to fish this thing on a Ned head like it's advertised. It does not work well. 
I, I don't think it's a good Ned bait at all. I think it's too heavy. It's long, it's 4.6 inches. Yeah, you can cut it down, uh, but I didn't really see like, why am I slicing up my baits when there's a lot of really good brands on Ned baits. But thanks to my man, Mike Goes Fishing, go look him up on YouTube, good dude. We did a six cents lure challenge and he sent me some of these and I put my thinking cap on and I Nico rigged it. It killed, it did better than any other lure he sent me. Um, I think the Nico rig is the way to throw these. Put a nail weight in the flat end and go from there. So I'm not totally sold on them, but there might be something to Nico rigging, rigging these net fries. But in all honesty, they're the worst out of the worm styles. Not my favorite worm. Uh, other people have had success. I am not, not, not my favorite. I wouldn't pick that up unless you were specifically gonna Nico rig. Um, and I probably wouldn't pick it up as my first Nico rig worm. I think there's a lot better options, uh, but that is something that you can do with that one. All right, let's get to some trailers. They've got two specific like jig trailers uh, and they are first up the prawn. The prawn comes in 4.2. Again, all the great colors. The prawn's more of your beaver style bait. You're kind of do nothing bait. It's gonna give very subtle action on the fall. Uh, and that makes a good flipping bait uh, because there's not a lot for it to get hung up on. And uh, it does give you a meteor profile, uh, but you're not gonna get crazy action out of it. It's very, very subtle. It's a very good bait. It's got great durability. All of these, for the most part, have great durability. Uh, but the prawn, if that's what you're looking for, a uh, beaver style bait, I would go with that. But if you're looking for something with more action, they've got you covered with the Stroker Craw. This thing has crazy kick to its legs. It's your standard kind of craw. Um, it's gonna make a great jig trailer. It's a little bulky. It's 3.3 .3 inches, but it's got a thick body on it to accommodate thicker hooks. Um, you guys know I, I, I use Beast Coast uh, fishing for most of my jigs, and they all have very stout hooks. Never had an issue. There's enough meat for that hook to hold on to. Uh, it's a really great trailer bait. Um, it gives, again, a lot of great action, all the great colors. You can't go wrong. So for trailers, they've got you covered both ways. And again, I think going through all of these, Sixth Sense is really trying to put themselves out there as you can go to their website and you can get almost everything that you need to go out and fish and be successful. But I think for the most part, they've done a great job of uh, covering that corner of the market. Go to SixthSenseFishing.com and get almost everything that you need to go out fishing now. First up for swim baits is the Divine Swim Bait. Um, this is a good bait. Is it my favorite paddle tail? It's not. Um, I think it's kind of rigid. It has a very, the tail does get some action, but it gives you a tight wobble. So if that's what you're looking for, um, they're gonna be your avenue for that. I think their plastic tears up real easy and it doesn't give enough bulk. Um, you guys know me, I swim jig fist all the time. I want the bulk, I, I want the body to give a bulk profile to that swim jig. These ones don't really cut it, but is it a good swim bait? It absolutely is. It comes in three different sizes. Um, you can't go wrong uh, on it, but is it my favorite? It's not. And the last soft plastic they have is the whale. A, uh, it's another swim bait. This one gives me what I wanted with that bulky body um, and it's got a bigger boot on it. Uh, I had some success on it. it it's kind of got the uh, the pectoral, or not pectoral, it's got the side fins like the flush has. Um, but this one I need to, I need to experiment more with it. I do like that it adds bulk, um, but I haven't really put all the work in to see if it'll work as a really effective swim jig trailer. Um, I've been using that X-Zone and that's been working great, but this is definitely a bait to maybe look at. It, it will run great on just a standard swim bait head. It looks awesome in the water. Um, it'll grow, go great on an underspin um, or just a keel weighted hook. It'll, it'll work awesome. It's not too big, it's 4.5 inches, but it is, uh, it's very tall, it's very meaty. So uh, it, it, it's something that I need to work on, on maybe throwing these a little more often. All right, so that's all of their soft plastics, minus one. Um, like I said a little bit earlier, I think Six Sense is doing a good job of trying to get you to go to their website. You can get everything that you need straight from their end. Hooks, hard baits, and soft baits. This is a really good sampling size of soft baits. Their colors are amazing as always. Um, if I had to pick like the stars of the show, it for me, it would be that clout worm. You know that. And it would be the, uh, the Stroker Craw. I think those are two really awesome baits. 
If I had to sample any of them, I'd go with that. But honestly, I think you should try at least one of all of these. I think they're all great baits and they're doing a great job. Uh, if you like this, if you want me to break down more product lines from companies, let me know in the comments. Everybody have a good one.